Grove blacksmith shop and it's also the broom factory. This is Mr. Luther's broom factory and it was uh, brought here from Taylorsville, Tennessee. It is actually the original building with his equipment. For years and years Mr. Luther made brooms. If you come to the fair and you buy a broom it'll last you a long time. What are the materials in the broom? This material is broom corn. It's a plant raised just to make brooms. Looks like ear corn growing out in the field, but never sets an ear. Instead of having an ear out the side, it has a stalk out the top. Got some growing right here in this bucket. And the bristles are growing out the top of the plant up here. It's not going to grow full size in the bucket. But it's an example. But that's, yeah, people used to raise broom corn around here a whole lot. It was a very important cash crop. Kentucky, Tennessee, up in the, through the 1800s, even the early 1900s. And after World War II, people kind of got away from raising broom corn and more into tobacco, and now you rarely ever see broom corn raised around here. A little bit, but not much. It's a lost art. 